make the grade It's all a show, it's all a game And I would lose it if I played But anyway You go Pete Williams, director and creator of MTV and Decode's new show, The Undergrads. Yes, The Undergrads. So I just wanted to, uh, to ask you, I understand that there's a, a pretty good story about how you came to be working with MTV. It's an interesting story that I would like to relate to you very much. Okay. Uh, it was my freshman year at college, and uh, it was actually the winter break of my freshman year. Uh, so I was back home uh, in, in Hyde Park, New York, where I grew up. And uh, it was really nothing to do because it's a boring place to live. And uh, my mom had, uh, had brought it to my attention. There was this contest that MTV uh, had, had going called the uh, Character Screen Test Competition. And it involved uh, doing a, uh, a pencil test animation of characters that you invent talking to the camera about themselves. And this is sort of when they were looking for the next Beavis and Butthead and stuff uh, at MTV. Mm -hmm. So I had nothing better to do on my winter break because I really don't have a uh, social life. So uh, I decided to lock myself up in my room and, and create this short animated piece to enter the contest, not really thinking anything was going to happen with it. So when I was trying to think of ideas for the show, uh, for these characters, um, it just happened I was hanging out with my, my old friends from, from high school, uh, who were my three best friends. And I was like, oh, these guys are, are pretty interesting and quirky and you know, they'd make great cartoon characters. So it all so came from it, your life experience. It sort of came from my, uh, my, my hanging out with my high school friends. Um, and uh, so I entered, entered this contest with this short, this short two-minute piece. Um, Sorry, whose attention brought, who brought this to your attention? Oh, oh yeah, I got Who was that? Thanks for steering me back. <laughs> uh, so my, it was my mom who, uh, who, who brought this contest to my attention. Uh, she sort of have made it her hobby over the years to gather this kind of information from when I was just a little kid, you know, uh, doing coloring contests and stuff like that. So she, I don't know where she gets these contests or how she finds out about them, but apparently she's on the inside track when it comes to that sort of thing. So, uh, so she's the one that said, ah, you know, do this, enter this contest, you know, you got nothing better to do. So uh, it was my mom. She's the reason I'm here today for many reasons. One, she gave birth to me. Uh, but here now at MTV uh, and working with Decode because of the contest, so it's my mom's it doing. So, uh, yeah. So you're living the dream. I'm leave, living the leave dream. Leave college now. and and so MTV? oh so yeah so uh, so after I, so I found out a couple months later uh, that I won this contest uh, with MTV and was very excited and actually it was my mom who got the initial phone call because we had given my home address and my home phone number so my mom's the one that got the call so I got this crazy answering machine message from my mom when I was back at school it's like and she's like half on tears you know <laughs> half the verge of tears and stuff and it was like Pete I just got this message and you have to hear it and she plays the message and it was from uh, Abby Turkuli president of MTV animation saying that I won the contest and it was very exciting and I was like oh this is great because we actually didn't know how we were going to pay for our next semester of college. So it was great. There's some prize money involved. Uh, looks like you can go to college for another semester. So then that summer, I started working at MTV uh, doing a pilot for the show, for undergrads with the four characters that I'd entered the contest with. And uh, it tested that uh, the following year. And um, so I, I decided to leave college and uh, continue working at MTV. So after a year and a half at college, I decided to go. So you and didn't actually go back. I didn't go back. No. I, uh, I decided to, to make money and sell out at a very early age. <laughs> and uh, Work experience, life, life experience. Yeah, so it's weird. I'm, uh, I'm making a, a show about college, and I'm probably the least qualified person uh, to do so, I have only having had you know, a year and a half of co actual college experience. Uh, so then, the, so the show got uh, the show got tested in front of a focus group, and it and it did well, and uh, we decided to our MTV decided to uh, green light it for for series, and we did this co-production with uh, Decode Entertainment, mm -hmm. and uh, it's worked been working out really great, and great. now we're excited. And it's going to be on TV. Now, how long the process was it with MTV before it was actually green lit? It was, was a long it? it was a long process with MTV before they actually gave us a green light. It went from uh, from the initial concept to getting tested to 
when we got our final word that we were going to go to series, it was probably over the course of about three years. Oh, really? And when, they, when, I first, when I first started working at MTV, I remember they had said, you know, it's going to be baby steps. You know, it's baby steps from when you start to when it's actually, you know, if it actually gets greenlit. Mm-hmm. And when to actually when it goes on the air, it's all baby steps, you know. And I'm just being, you know, a kid, naive, and, and to the way things work, I was like, oh, all right, baby steps. So you know, maybe like a couple months, and then all of a sudden I'll have my own TV show, and then it turns out to be three years. So it actually was, it was. I think they were microscopic baby steps. Okay, and they were actually making you work through the whole process. Were you like an intern, or did you? What I you uh, sort of I started I started work basically working in development and. Uh, when I was doing the click pilot, it was also sort of they had me sort of working on other pilots as well, sort of anything that was in development. I would I would just work as a digital artist uh, on, on on various projects, just doing coloring or or uh, you know uh, mm-hmm. digital like post production and stuff like that. Um, so I was so I was I was basically a couple steps above an intern, not much actually. For my first few months there, I actually shared uh, a, a cubicle with the intern. So it was you know they. It, 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 you know, nothing, nothing to write home about. It was, uh, it was cramped, but it was fun, and it was, you know, working at MTV, which is, you know, everybody, you know, all my friends know MTV. They all watch it. We all grew up on MTV. So just to be working there, everything. Oh, that's the coolest! You work at MTV? You know Carson Daly? What <laughs> uh, But uh, it, so it was, it was just really exciting, and, and working with, you know, names that I had, I had heard of, and you know, that I'd read in animation magazine and stuff. It was just, it was this really whirlwind type experience. A very you know, just crazy and you know, dream come true. And then when we got the green light, it was like, well, it's, this is actually going to be on TV. Mm-hmm. People are going to see this. Did you have, um, did you used to do much drawing and like, did you have any experience with animation before you got in, into working with MTV? I, uh, animation for me was kind of a hobby when, since I was growing up. Actually, when I was a kid, that's sort of what I wanted to do when I grew up. I wanted to be an animator like for Disney or whatever. Uh, so since I was about eight years old, I've been animation has sort of been a hobby. I would do little flip books, and then my parents got me a Super 8 camera, and I would make short little stop motion films. Um, so yeah, it was always, animation has always sort of been this pastime of mine, and it just sort of turned mm-hmm. into this career now, which is uh, which is kind of cool. And now you're full into production. And We're full into production. Working with uh, an animation studio and. Yeah, and it, well, this how is how you finding the whole. This is really cool because I had really no idea of how, you know, all the different steps that are involved in, in, in making a, an animated, you know, show. So it's been this incredible learning experience. And it's sort of like you know you're put to the test because now it's you're you're sort of learning it while you're doing it, and uh, it's just been really neat to be a part of every step of the of the process and mm-hmm. see how it how it really works and getting to work with an animation studio where you see these guys and they're drawing your characters and they're making them move and. Uh, and doing the post stuff and doing voice records and uh, getting sheets back and you know when stuff gets sent overseas mm-hmm. you know it's it's just been it's been really wild and I can't believe that all these people are being put to work on an idea that you know sort of came from from up here or just yeah. some you know passing idea from from three years ago it's just incredible to to think that uh, you know this much money is being invested in something that <laughs> I created. I understand that. Uh that you actually weren't you you weren't a drinker you are you're not a drinker and that yeah like you know, the because I know that the show itself I mean it does you know there's it tends to be a lot of drinking in college a lot of there's an awful lot of drinking in college sex, I don't know if I don't you know. know if the kids at home know that but there's drinking at college uh, and uh, sex <laughs> and stuff like that um, and when I was at college I really was not a part of that I, I was very close minded to a lot of things like the main character Nitz in the show. And uh, so I, I never, I never, you know, drank alcohol or experimented with any, those type of things because they were bad. And I was a very moral person, and I believed that those things were, were not right. And so you should stay. You should say no. Just say no. <laughs> so um, it wasn't actually until I started working at MTV that I was introduced to the wonderful world of drinking. And now, animation. Now I'm an, it was it's a wonderful world of animation, animation and television. Man, animators, <laughs> they are. I, they probably, they probably, you know, comp- compose about. Ninety percent of the alcoholics in our in our oh. country today, they are um, they're yeah they're, it's a hard job when you're an animator sitting there, you know, the drawings all day, twenty four seven. It's uh it's hard. It can it can really push you to to the drink, um, but uh, yeah. 